Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I just thought I'd uh, show my uh, new acquisition or recent acquisition that I bought here. Um, these are available readily on, over here from uh, Amazon and eBay. Um, it's marketed as a mini tomato greenhouse, um, but I decided to buy one of these as I thought it might be a good plant hospital for some of my. Uh, tropicals when they've suffered root issues and need to be sort of um, have all the soil washed off the roots or they've been attacked by pests and they get very sickly because what I'm planning to do is put this in my uh, summer house and then enclose the plants within it so that it gets a, a very humid atmosphere and it'll boost the heat as well for them I don't think it'll get too hot um, they're quite a handy little thing uh, you won't be able to see but you can't see the whole thing if you just turn this down a bit uh, wanted to sort of do a video with me in it so you could get an idea of the size basically they're about uh, it's a meter wide from side to side uh, it's the actual width of it if I turn it around is 50 centimeters so half a meter and the height is 1.5 meters so it's quite a lot of height in there if I've got a sickly plant that's tall although I think most of the plants will be this low uh, and it basically just has a little um, has a little zip up front so you can get access to plants very easily if you wanted to leave this up all the time for ventilation if you had it outside in full sunshine you'd simply uh, you can roll this up and tie it to these uh, tie it to these little straps but um, uh, for me I think I'll probably be keeping these closed because they're in the greenhouse and I don't so much want ventilation as I want to keep the heat and humidity in so the sick tropicals are getting an extra boost so um, I'll probably be trying this for things like my um, I've got a very sickly rose apple a wax apple that are not not rose apple it's a wax apple or wax jambu that I featured in a video a week or so ago and bare rooted it is showing signs of life and I have put it in a polythene bag in the uh, in the garden summer house but I think it'll be a lot easier to be honest to uh, to put it in here and I could put some of my sickly avocado seedlings in here perhaps a small citrus that's uh, just been had a bare rooting that's very sickly um, I think I'll put the uh, star apple in here because that's uh, not doing very well and that needs the extra heat and humidity so uh, we're just basically using it as a, as a plant hospital um, whether or not I leave it up over winter remains to be seen I could put it into my kitchen or front room for the uh, for the sort of tropicals that are more susceptible to dry atmosphere because obviously this would give them a lovely microclimate but uh, just thought I'd quickly show that price about 15 pounds here that's all very good value for money which is probably equivalent to about 18 US dollars at the moment so it's not exactly an expensive investment to try it out and of course you could use it outside just to grow things like tomatoes and melons in if you needed a bit more heat uh, if you had a particularly cool spell that'd be perfect if you just wanted to grow three or four plants um, perhaps on a little patio or something it, it, they're ideal you'd have to weigh it down if it's outside because it's quite light and a gust of wind it'll blow away easily but that's not going to be a problem obviously when I put it in the summer house which I'm going to do this afternoon I just thought I'd do a quick video on it as it's um, a little piece of equipment I've just acquired and it's not uh, not an actual plant video so I thought uh, a few people might find something not something like this interesting as they probably don't know that you can uh, buy these very very fairly priced there are other sources for them I just happen to get it off eBay but obviously um, you can buy it from any source that you uh, come across that's handy anyway thanks for watching the video that's the height of it 1.5 meters and I'll uh, catch up with you in the next video. Perhaps you'll give me a thumbs up. Welcome to share the video if you think anybody might find this useful. Um, obviously, uh, you please subscribe to my channel if anything I'm doing interests you. And remember to uh, click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos as they come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.